welcome back to the metronome madness league we are back with some exciting matches for you guys in season number seven we have the gengars going up against the heavenly heat trans who is going to come away with the win is always the question so let's see who's going to win here tonight score bunny starting things off for the gengars using first impression great look there doing a huge amount of damage to that rowlet right there excellent start for the score bunny but there goes the horn leech interesting rowlet's gonna get some health back from using that does about the same amount of damage as well it was a critical hit that's why there you go and there goes the healing there rowlet excellent start by the heat trends these two teams going at each other this is what we love to see in metronome madness for exciting battles here comes a stab flare bits coming from the score bunny what a move is going to be super effective as well rowlet can't take it it's down that is it one and done now score bunny unfortunately hit by a huge recoil right there but that's exactly what you want to see the heat trans now sending out their dartrix and score bunny has a chance to do more damage it's actually faster than the dartrix surprise and it uses rest right now it's gonna go to sleep the downside is it will be sleep for the next few turns but it does get to get back up to full health excellent job by the gengars that looks like a dangerous team to face off against here comes the next scissor Ooh, that's resisted i believe don't imagine that's gonna do a lot yeah a little bit of damage not very effective not really taking advantage of the sleep here he trans are gonna have to come with something stronger if they want to drop off this score bunny well, let's see if score bunny can actually get past the second stage that would be amazing there goes the hex though coming from the dartrix huge hit score bunny in the red there danger zone for the score bunny will it actually be able to attack it's still sleep right now all dartrix has to do is to use a small move and it's all over for it here we go dartrix with the body slam that would do it body slam's gonna take out the score bunny but it did put up a good fight you have to admit rest actually did not work out for them there since they stayed sleep uh while taking too much damage obviously because they fainted from the dart tricks it's not what they wanted to do that wasn't the plan for rest unfortunately that's what happened for them so now we're gonna go ahead and see the rap boot come out it, it of course is faster i mean if score bunny is faster it's gonna be there goes a leafage uh first bit of damage done to the dart tricks but i mean that's dart tricks move but it's obviously resisted not a strong move here comes the gear up and that fails i think gear up you have to be still is that the case you got to be a still type for gear up probably there goes the lunge is that neutral i believe that's neutral on the dartrix doing a bit of damage sometimes lunge can do a lot you have to um obviously it depends on the pokemon but yeah there's still a decent amount of damage to the dartrix there goes the lick could par paralyze Let's see if it does does almost no damage but the paralysis gets off that's exactly what the heat trans were looking for there that might put the Gengars at a bit of a disadvantage here. Dartrix now going first. He uses Mind Reader. Let's see what they have in store for them now. Raboot, can it break through the paralysis? It does this time. And there it goes with the Taunt. Interesting. Taunt going to prevent Dartrix from using Metronome. And that can actually give the Gengars the upper hand. So despite their paralysis dartrix is gonna have to struggle it's not doing a lot of damage but it's gonna do a quarter of dartrix's health and recoil each time they're gonna have to hope that taunt wears off soon but i don't know if dartrix can take it there was a second struggle raboot oh actually did a bit more did it look like it did a bit more damage to raboot this time the raboot can take it there was the drain punch that not very effective but enough to put dartrix in the danger zone and the next struggle will take it out and that's definitely not what the heat trends want to see so the damage they're doing with struggle was now healed by the drain punch almost as if they didn't do anything there goes the last struggle for dartrix and it is down excellent job by the rat boot actually putting the gengars back on top of this battle unfortunately it is still paralyzed so it will be hard pressed to get past the decidui which is going to be next on the heat trends here we go there goes that decidui dangerous pokemon and now has the ghost typing 
So we'll have to watch out for that. Fighting and normal type moves will no longer work on it. Here comes the decision why the fairy lock gonna prevent uh, everyone from switching. That will only affect the rat boot. I don't see that as a good plan for the Gengars. They're not gonna switch out. So fairy lock was probably useless. Here comes a wing attack, which will be super effective. Excellent move by the rat boot. Oh my goodness. Great job. Breaks through the paralysis again, hitting it with that super effective move. There we go. Tail slap coming from the Decidueye. That can hit multiple times. There goes two. Raboot below halfway. Raboot on the attack again uses rising voltage. Does that do damage? It does do damage. Not very effective, of course, against the grass type. And since Decidueye lost that flying typing, it, it was resisted. Normally, you know, that would be neutral, unfortunately. It's not a flying type anymore. Topsy Turvy fails. Raboot tries to go again. The heat trend's really getting Raboot all the time. It needs to go the fire blast. And the situation goes down. The Gengars didn't even need to use Cinderace. It's over. Oh my god. Raboot, MVP of this match. Excellent job by the Gengars coming away with the win there. What an amazing match. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more Metronome Madness. You can follow the season. Um, you can follow the schedule, actually, I should say. There's a link in the description for that. Um, and you can see the standings of all the teams. Make sure you join the Discord as well so you can follow everyone, even talk to some of the team owners, maybe give them uh, some trade advice if you want. <laughs> that will be interesting. If you want to become a team owner, you can. Uh, we still have a few teams open for new owners. So just let me know in the comments below if you want to join, and I can shoot you a link as well with that being said of course we want to thank our patrons john walker for supporting the channel thank you so much if you want to become a patron the link is going to be in the description there as well where you can see some of these battles early and with that being said thanks so much for watching guys i will catch you next time